Gotta get some food soon, Arthur. Food or money. But these bastards will eat up. I know, Dutch. I'm trying. I know. Long day, Arthur. What are you doing? Prepping for a robbery. I've had a good run of luck recently. Okay. Robbed a house up in Roanoke Ridge. 
Robbed a couple of drunken soldiers out near the swamps. <laughs> and what are you about to do? A stage. <clears throat> well, good luck. Well, do you want to come with me? Now, I was going to ask Sean, but he's too much of a hothead. What's the opportunity? A bank stage, and without much security. This feller was telling me about it a couple of nights ago when we was drinking. It's going to be coming right through, and the bank reckons the cost of security ain't worth the risk. Now, there'll be a couple guys, but nothing too serious, and lots of money. Easy money. Oh, well, that's always the dream of every thief. Easy money. Well, like I was saying, my luck is in now, Arthur. Well, then, why not? Who are you taking? I think we need a girl. See, I got a plan in mind. Well, in that case... Tilly, you free? We got some work. Sure. What kind of work? Stage coach. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right. Come on. Let's mount up. Okay. Follow me. There's a good spot where we should be able to cut it off northwest of Dewberry Creek. And uh, you're certain this information sound, Bill? After that mess with the Cornwall stage, I want to make sure we're not... So the stage should be coming from over there. What you want me to do? Just act dumb and silly and get the things... You know, like you do. And what you mean by that? Oh, come on, don't get all precious and stuck up on me now. I don't like your manners, Mr. Williamson. In fact, I think you're an obnoxious idiot. What'd you say to me? I didn't say enough to you, you useless half-man. Half-man? Half-man, what does that even mean? Will you two stop arguing? He started it. Goddamn stagecoach. We 
doing this? Yes. Come on, both of you, follow me! What's the plan? There's been a change of plan! Yes, you act dumb and get them to stop. Yeah! After chasing it all over New Hanover, but God knows who watched. Got it. Right. Let's split up, get the hell out of here. Okay, but you owe me my cut. Don't think I'll forget. I know, I know.
Okay then, girl. Whoa, whoa!
Hold it.
Okay then. Come on. Get these shackles off soon. I'm gonna. Please. This is crazy. Just shoot the shackles. One bullet. That's all. There you go. Oh. Oh, thank God. Oh, well, I waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I, I wish I could give you some money or. Well. You know, I might have something of interest. A fellow on the chain line jawed on about this little homestead owned by some lonely drunk. Yeah, he keeps a lot of money stacked away. Dead south of Rhodes, on the river. You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? I ain't saying nothing. With it what you will. Okay, my girl.
Easy, whoa. Hey, fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Everything all right, sir? Ah, oh, please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one. He as big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper? Bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all.
Can I drive? Nope. <sighs> Come on, we need to go. Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. Moonshine? Horns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I thinking this hell about why toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right feller for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really barely so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they've taken on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Yeah. That wagon must have cost you a break. about them greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Here, stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. What you want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay, they said. Okay, Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, straight down the path here. 
It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Uh, right there. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shy, eh? <coughs> <coughs> Hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, There'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? We'll take care of this fella. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble.
Christ, I'm bored. Well, you give this a quick dose as well.
Silksy! You got a fire bottle, right? I'll give you first. Haha! <laughs> now let's go light ourselves a fat cigar. You burn with it!
Pharaoh's horse. We didn't see if the Pharaoh was actually in there. Hurry up. Oh boy, we did good, Morgan. We did good. Great, but well, let's. The little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. I haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pierce. Good. We really needed this. Can't wait to taste this. Not the best quality, but some seasoning will hide it. Thank you, Arthur. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Keep my eye out for some good material.
Good to be warm. Sure. Hey, Sean. Yeah, what's up, big man? How much? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing at all. I brought... Oh, hello, Arthur. And what's she doing? <clears throat> She's doing nothing, too. <laughs> what exactly are you planning? Just a little light robbery, Arthur. Nothing a serious fellow like yourself needs to worry about. And you need to get Mary Beth killed as well as yourself? Away with yourself, Arthur Morgan. We'd be getting rich, not killed. <laughs> Besides, Arthur... I'm so bored, I'd rather be shot. If you insist, I'm in. We don't want you in. We got this ourselves. I've seen you fight, little feller. You can kill any one of us, but I ain't letting you take her out, Robin, not without an extra gun. But she'd be acting, not fighting. Sounds good. Come on, then. Let's go rob this. What are we robbing? Uh, A stagecoach some fella told me about. Oh, wonderful. Come on, you can tell me more on the ride. Where are we heading? Back up north. It's coming down from Valentine. I know a great spot to set up an ambush. Just don't start acting like you're the lead on this, like you always do. I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> All right, follow me. So, early bet. Like I said, you'll be at the side of the road to flag them down. Give them some sob story. Easy enough. We'll be hiding up above. Once they're unawares, I'll put in a few shots to let them know we mean business. Then move in fast to hold them up. Arthur! <laughs> you can watch and give us marks out of ten. Right now, you're at a one. Jesus. Can't believe you have to tag along with us just to keep an eye on the girl. Remember the crap you gave me for turning up at that train job with Marston and Charles? I'm keeping an eye on you, not her. I know she's solid. All right. Very funny. Hey, she's probably robbed more folk than both of us put together. I wouldn't go quite that far. Mary Beth can pick a pocket faster than you can play, believe me. Let's cut up here. It'll be quicker. First time we laid eyes on her. She was being chased by three real angry-looking fellas. And we thought, oh, that poor young girl getting picked on like that. But she had a bag full of wallets and gold watches. Happy memories, I'm sure. So will you two write about that in your journals? Can we get back to the matter at hand here? All right. Just over this ridge, there's a spot that should give us a good view of the road. Let's leave the horses here so they're out of sight. We well, want a rifle with a scope. If you got one, we'll be back a bit from the road. Such a privilege to be instructed by the master himself. This way. You see the road? 
don't dare marry that. She ain't blind. Come on, you two. This is gonna be fun. All right, Arthur. Me and you will take cover behind that log over there. Okay. You're the boss. from the north any minute. You're up, Mary Beth. Well, all right, then. You know what you're doing, right? Of course she knows what she's doing. As soon as the shooting starts, get low and get the hell out of there, okay? Of course. Here it comes. I put in a couple of shots to spook them, like, and then... We move in. Are you sure about that? Your eyes ain't what they used to be, old fella. If you say so. Hey! Hey! Stop, please! Hey! <laughs> Thank you. What are you doing? <sighs> Shit. Hey, what's the trouble here, miss? Oh, thank, thank God. I seem to have got myself all spun around out here. My horse ran off, and well, I don't know where I am. <laughs> you must think I'm such a feather brain. What's your name, sir? Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence. <laughs> Would you gentlemen possibly give me a ride to the nearest town? <laughs> this is a banking stage, miss. We can't be picking up passengers. Come on, Harry. Nice young girl like that. <laughs> and I'm sure we oh, can make an exception. Shut up. I thought you were just gonna threaten me. They seem threatened to me. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Anyway, we can talk about this later. I'm gonna bust in and grab the money. No, you leave that to me. Fine, fine. I lighten the pockets of our dearly departed friends here. Let's grab the money and go, Arthur. That's a nice take. You did good, Sean. You too, Mary Beth. Hold it. We'll split it up later. We better get out of here. I like how you swan into this at the last minute, and then make off with all the money. Split up and meet back at camp. Go! We don't have time to hang around. All right. All right. I'll see you boys later! Yep. 
Oi. see horses this fat too often. Maybe run it around some. Good. Good to see you've been feeding your horse well. Too well, maybe. 
If you ain't got the papers, I can't give you the full price. Yep, we can pick that up. Good saddle will go a real long way. Trust me. Days get longer and longer. It's better to equip yourself and not need it than the other way around. I think you should do it. Goes well with a saddle. I can always use more horses. You can tell the difference with these additions. You can't have too much with you out in the wilderness. It's better to equip yourself and not need it than the other way around. Real fine saddles here. Do you know horses just love a lump of sugar? Just my two cents. I'm convinced horses love that. Must be a connoisseur. Safe travel. Remember to rest that horse sometimes. Idiot.
Hey, I'd keep moving if I was you. <sighs> what did I tell you? Get the hell out of hey, here! Calm down. Maybe you can help us. It ain't like this is going well. <laughs> really? Ah, shit. Nothing to okay, lose, man, I suppose. Girl. Come on. The truth is, mister, our last batch of shine didn't turn out so good. You think you can help us with locating some ingredients? We could reward you for your troubles. Why not? World could always use more moonshine, right? I'm pretty sure there are some fairies local to these parts. A bit of fruit might add something special to our shine. You find some berries, bring them beauties. Go on and grab whatever you think looks good. Lots of flavors about with all these plants and herbs nearby. Happy to help and all, but this is odd. You know that, right? Hey, mister, you gonna find us some plants? See you fellas later, then. All right. I know you'll find us some plants. what you can, bring them back, and we'll see how they mix. Okay, girl. So, what's on the menu? Toss what you got in the mix and we'll give it a taste. I'm gonna give this a taste. Mmm. That is damn delicious. We may be on to something after all. Sounds like we got ourselves a new recipe. I'd say we let it sit and then make up a new batch later. Thanks, mister. We got some money in that chest there. Grab some for yourself. Very generous, thanks. That 
Vance! Matt, Van! You must be nervous, being this close to the water. Oh, don't you start. I'm <laughs> just looking out for you. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Hi, Arthur. Hello, Tilly. You feeling more settled here now? Yes, this is a nice spot.
Stay away from me. Oh, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. <laughs> it always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. But I tell them that's nonsense. I tell them you just keep one in oh. your ear. Oh, you animal. <laughs> 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 Look out, Trelawney. Hi, Karen. Mr. Morgan? You look well. Thank you, Arthur. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah. Uh. Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Come on, come on. It's this way. On me. Easy. Yeah. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but. No, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamore. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are, uh, decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I don't know. guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shining and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does.
Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house. Down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. Of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there. A wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, that looked like dynamite in the back there? It looks like we're on to something. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get it. View on them from that wall up there. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Oh, you see anything? Yes. Yes. There you're all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. You got men covering the house. Down by the road. We do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? Hey, move that scope over to the right. You ain't seen anything worth shooting or stealing? Can you look again for me? Hey, hey, to the left of you. Hey, we came all this way, so can you look again and see if you spot anything? I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. So, what do we do? We're gonna hit them head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. As soon as you shoot, I'll go. Oh, there we go! We're here for your gift.
Take the shot. Still nothing. I think we should search the crates, Arthur.
here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Here. We're carrying powder. You want me to drive off them? Don't spare the nag. Come on. Come on. G up. <laughs> I'll crack that whip. Hey, riders, coming our way. Okay, keep a cool head. What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conduct. I don't like it. Anyone chasing us? I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to. <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragger. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. It's for better judgment. Just, you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... Then nothing but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. You notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. 